Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to your April tarot forecast. There is a lot of change. There is um, eclipse season happening. We have Mercury, your ruling planet. Mercury will be retrograde. Um, I have a free downloadable guide, uh, a survival guide. So um, please download that and watch it. But like the overall energy here is, I feel like a lot of you, you need a break. So maybe you are planning a trip or connecting with um, an old friend or something like that. Um, we also could notice that people from your past are coming back around or you are reconnecting with people um, or you are connecting with people in an old way. So maybe you are taking a class or something like maybe you grew up and used to love, you know, horseback riding or painting or dancing or whatever. And now it's like, I want to try that again. And, and I feel like now you have an opportunity to do that because Mercury retrograding in the sign of Aries, especially with the North node in Aries. Um, and also we have Chiron in Aries, like there's a lot of action in Aries right now, and that is connected to the first house in modern day astrology, which is an opportunity for us to realign with a new identity. So I feel like a lot of you and me also, I'm really feeling this, I'm a Gemini. Um, there's like this awareness that there are so many things that we still do that we don't really connect with anymore. Maybe it's like an old behavior. Like for me, I've even noticed like, you know, not every day, but like a lot of days I, I wake up and I do my sort of like morning routine that's not really like a solid routine. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, I know I should be like sitting down and meditating for a minute. I know I should be like doing some breath work to help like calm my mind, but then I don't. But it's like, I know it's like in my field, like these new habits, these new ideas, these new ways of doing things, like that's already in my awareness but I haven't applied it. And then when I'm doing these other things, like, okay, I just kind of like rush through my day. I go out for breakfast. I'm eating like the same, the same thing that I always eat. And like when I'm eating it, I'm sitting there thinking like, I don't even want to be eating this. I'm just eating it because it's a habit. I'm just eating it because it's like my routine, but I'm like, so like past this routine. I don't want to continue to do that. So there's this overall energy here of a lot of us just recognizing that like, like I have an eight, a seven, an eight and a nine of coins all reversed. Okay. Seven of coins reversed, eight of coins reversed, nine of coins reversed. Do you know what this is saying? This is saying that our values have changed, that our ideas of what we want for ourselves have changed. And we don't want to continue investing in things that are not these new ideas of what we want for ourselves. Because for example, I know I want to wake up and I want to just like meditate for five minutes and focus on the breath so I can calm my mind before I just jump into my day. So it's like, that is one example of us recognizing that there are things that we don't want to continue investing in because we don't really feel aligned with that kind of behavior anymore. Okay. The second thing is with this eight of coins, eight of coins reverse, a lot of us just feel fucking exhausted. And it's like, I don't want to do any work though. Like I don't want to be doing these old things, but that takes like effort, like I have to actually try to do something new and I'm just feeling overall exhausted. Maybe a lot of you are also just feeling mentally exhausted, physically exhausted. I know like, and I, you know, the money's coming in, like I'm fine, but like this project wheelhouse has literally cost like almost a million dollars. I'm sitting here thinking like, I am done. Like I am financially exhausted. I just don't want to continue shoveling out money to invest. And it's, I mean like, bitch, look at this place. Like it's absolutely beautiful. Like you need to come visit. Um, but my point is, it's just like, even if you're healthy, you feel physically exhausted. Even if you're like mentally, you know, quote unquote stable, you feel mentally exhausted. Even if the money is flowing, you still feel financially exhausted. It's just like, and it's because I am sick and tired. And it's just like, I don't want to continue doing that. So that is what this nine of coins is also showing is that it's like, because on so many levels, we feel exhausted because there is so much profound change happening. And we're in the middle of eclipse season. We are cutting and clearing. We are getting ready to establish and open a new cycle, a new door. But like all of that energetically happening mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, financially, it's like, Where's the off button? 
where do I press the fucking button to get off the fucking merry-go-round? And it's like, bitch, we need to do it ourselves. We need to just take a minute to breathe, to take a break, to chill the fuck out, and then to say, okay, Ace of Wands, I deserve new actions. I deserve new behaviors. I deserve a new chapter, a new start. We also have the fool. New start, new start, new start. We are dropping all of the old emotional baggage. We are dropping all of the old expectations from other people because other people, if they've known us for a while, they will have a picture of us in their mind. They will expect us to show up in some kind of way. If we want to change how we're showing up, that doesn't match their expectations. That is also exhausting because now we have this energetic discrepancy because like these people energetically expect us to show up in one way. We want to change and we show up now in a different way, which means there is energetic imbalance. Like it's friction. Energetically in our field, we can feel that friction and we feel overly exhausted because we still have to, yeah, we have to have the fucking conversations with these people when we don't even want to be here. We have to still show up and go through the motions doing the thing when we don't want to be doing that. That means it takes even more energy, even more effort to do those things. So it's like that also leads to the level of exhaustion that we're feeling. Now, what is beautiful about this season is that it will pass. Okay, I believe around April 8th or 9th, we have a new moon eclipse in Aries. That is when the new door fully opens. That is when we are now in a new cycle. We are also in the new energetic year and Mercury will stop retrograding on April 25th, I believe. So we have, I would say around May, a lot of forward motion. Until May, continue to try to figure out what you don't want to be doing. Give yourself grace. Like this morning, I was just like crying when I was driving because I feel so, so much friction, so much frustration, so much exhaustion. And I can feel all these new doors opening and like my new habits, my new ideas, the new way that I'm like moving through life. Like even this project at Wheelhouse here, like it's finally opening on April 1st, finally after like two fucking years of just bullshit. And it's like, oh my God. I can see that new door opening. Like that's literally this tower. The old structure is crumbling and the wheel of fortune and the four of wands. It's like the new foundation is here. Okay. We also have six of cups, two of cups. We are realigning deeper with ourselves. We are realigning with ourselves on a new level. Okay. So it's like our divine masculine and feminine are balancing out. We are leaving more available space for creativity, for joy. I feel like we need to start going to like clay making classes or painting or expressing our creative self or like going out for more walks in nature. It's just like how you show up in your everyday life, your schedule will be changing. You will have better boundaries with how you invest your time, your energy, your money into what conversations, into what um, projects, into what people. And I feel like a lot of you and me, like we're going to be, again, this is the exhaustion, the nine of wands reverse, the eight of swords reverse. And behind it, we have that ace of cups. So that ace of cups is saying, and this is what I was just going to say. I feel like a lot of us are just going to be taking more time for ourselves and not feeling the need to answer to other people, to explain ourselves to other people. It's like no means no period. That's it. You don't need to ask me why I'm not going to tell you because I said no and no means no done. I like the blue one. We're not gonna ask, why not the red one? Why not this, this, this? Because bitch, I said the blue one, period, that's it. Go on, move on with your life, blue it is. And it's just like, we don't want to go back into this old way of being because I feel like it's just so, we're so like, ugh, we're, we're done with it. So that is what's beautiful about this eclipse season is that we have this opportunity to release these old ways of being. If you haven't watched, the cord cutting workshop, you need to go watch it, okay? 
At the very least, take the Eclipse Season Workshop. They're all pay what you can or sliding scale. So it's like, you have no excuse. You can't just show up, watch these, be like, yeah, wow, this is really resonating. Oh my God, I'm really feeling that, wow. And then you just close the app or you keep scrolling. It's like, no, like go do something with this energy because like, you're gonna feel better, I promise. That's why I make all of my workshops pay what you can or sliding scale so that other people can just take them anytime and get the support that they need. So. I just, I feel like with this Ace of Cups, I also feel like maybe some of you will be meeting some romantic partners or new connections that will lead to more romance in your life or just creative fun because these are very uh, romantic cards. Like you've got a Two of Cups, a Six of Cups, an Ace of Cups, and a Four of Wands. Like some of y'all could be connecting with people that you will be establishing heavy foundations with for the rest of your life or for a large chapter. I feel like maybe some of you will be connecting with twin flames, soulmates, or just people from your soul family and that you will, you're gonna be creating something with this person. Maybe it's a romantic life, maybe it's a collaborative project, I don't know, but I swear to God, after May, we're gonna have so much forward motion. And I'm also hearing like our birthdays are, you know, end of May or uh, first two weeks of June. So like even in May, we're still technically wrapping things up because then you're gonna have a fresh cycle in June or end of May when it's your birthday. So I would really strongly suggest that until now you get very clear on what you want your next chapter to look like. Literally sit down, meditate on it, write it out, figure out what is important for you now and how to make more time for that and how to cut these other cords and clear out this other shit because this eclipse season is supporting you with clearing and then with an initiation of some kind. So we need to use this energy, okay? I love you, go and watch a workshop. I'll tag some of them below. Also, please, I literally show up every month for you for like how many years now? It's like, send this to a friend, share it on your Instagram story, like support me. I support you, I fucking love you. I'll see you very soon, Gemini, ciao.